In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can gather business requirements using a tool called Trello. Trello is a free board-based system that allows you to easily document requirements in cards and move them across your own team's workflow. In this case, I've logged into my Trello account and I've created a board called Systems Analysis. If I click on Systems Analysis, this will open up a series of lists. Here I have a list called To Do, Doing, and Done. You can always add other lists in a Trello just by clicking the Add List button. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to work with these different user stories that I have created here in my lists. So in this case, we're analyzing uh, a timekeeping system. And I've started to identify all the different requirements that are relevant to a timekeeping system. In this case, I want to add a time card, delete a time card, correct the time card, and so on. So there's a whole set of additional individual requirements that may come up as you conduct your interviews and as you analyze the different documents that are involved in this timekeeping system. Well, when I have another requirement, so in this case, let's say we want to um, change a system interface. So I can go ahead and just create a simple requirement by entering enter. Or if you have another requirement to come up, let's say we want to uh, change a vendor account on the timekeeping system. I can go ahead and click on that and add another story that way. But let's go in and look at an example of a time card where I spent some time putting some relevant details. Uh, so in this case, I have a resource who as a contract resource, I can enter time against the project and categorize time across activities. That's common in a timekeeping system because often you want to bill your time against the project as well as categorize your time against a billable activity. Maybe it's tied to a systems development life cycle or it's something uh, you have vacation time, other meetings, or other non-billable activities that wouldn't be billed out to the project or to the client. Uh, and here I've also detailed some other descriptive requirements. So in this case, I'm entering time in 15 minutes. That would be another requirement that I could have uh, or a sub requirement for the specific card. Now, the nice way of organizing this is you can then collaborate with other team members where you can assign them the card or they can comment on the card as well as others can watch the activities and so they're aware of any updates to what's going on in this requirement. Um, with Trello, you can go ahead and create multiple checklists. You can assign even due dates for the requirement and it'll alert you when the requirement or when that due date is passed uh, as well as assign different labels and so on. So it's a real powerful tool uh, because you got to think about as you've been developing your list of requirements, we've been creating either UML diagrams, context diagrams, or you know just different models as we've been modeling out the requirements. Uh, but in this case, you need to eventually have a repository of requirements that you can trace back against uh, and even determine how do we then actually calculate and develop the code against those requirements. So in another case, as you get into your systems uh, analysis and imp eventually implementation, you may want to move a card into the doing column. And then when that's actually done, we uh, may actually may have another list here called uh, QA or quality assurance. This is where we'll actually do our testing. When the developer has completed the time card development, we'll move it to quality assurance. And then the testing team can vet and verify that the feature is working correctly in the system. And then they'll actually go ahead and move that to done. So using Trello to gather your requirements and actually implement your solution is a very useful way uh, to track requirements and get insight into how the product is evolving and progressing. If you want to check out Trello, just go to Trello.com. It's free.